professor is Kennedy. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. What on earth is going on here? This looks like a tea party. Well, what could possibly be more fabulous than a tea party? Unless, of course, someone discovers a genius way to turn a tea party into a science project. Hmm. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, how on earth is a tea party even remotely scientific? Well, what do you think is happening when that hot water hits that tea leaf? A reaction! This project is actually a super secret chemistry project. <laughs> and it explains things like infusion and dissolution. Have you ever heard of an infusion or a dissolution? Hmm. And I bet most of you out there haven't either. It's actually a really important component to most chemical processes, and we're going to learn all about them in this project. Chemistry is the science of how chemicals react or behave with one another, their properties, structure, and composition. Chemistry is also known as the central science since it infuses physics with things like geology and biology, other natural sciences. Chemistry is a branch of physical science, but it is still very different from physics. That's a really important note. For this project, you're going to use really simple products that you can find all around the house. Three small bowls, salt, sugar, and agave. For your dissolving project, take three clear glasses and set them aside. While an adult is boiling water on the stove in a tea kettle or in a pot, set up your fab lab. Dissolution is the process by which a solid, liquid, or gas forms a solution within a solvent. Now, a solvent is any other solid, liquid, or gas that can dissolve that other substance. All right, my babe, you are gonna be in charge of writing down what happens in our project. I want you to take a spoonful of your salt and dump it in your first glass. Now take note of how the salt sinks straight down to the bottom. Can you still see the salt? Yes. You can still see the salt, okay. So we can still see the salt that went to the bottom. Now take your spoon and stir it, <laughs> stir it, stir it. Awesome. Now the salt is almost gone. Stir it until everything is all dissolved. It's disappearing. It's disappearing, right? Yeah. Hmm. That's really cool. About how long do you think it took for the salt to disappear? Two minutes, probably. Two minutes? Maybe a little less than two minutes. We can we can just rough. We can guesstimate. Maybe mm -hmm. two minutes. Put two minutes down. Hmm. Awesome. Does it smell different? No? Okay. You want to taste it? <laughs> How is it? <laughs> now I want you to do that two more times. This time with your sugar and with your agave or honey or syrup. dissolving portion of our project. Um, we dissolved all sorts of sweet and not so sweet things. And next we're going to get to our infusion part. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. For this project, we're using five teacups and saucers, red pepper flakes, nutmeg seeds, cinnamon bark, echinacea leaves, and dried clover flour. An infusion means the introduction of a modifying quality into another element. 
The infusion in this case are the beverages we're going to make by steeping hot water with flavoring substances, the herbs and the spices that we're using in this project. An infusion can include anything like tea and coffee, but they're not only made with water. Infusions can also be made by using alcohol, vinegar, and even oil. Now you're going to assign a spice or a flower to a particular teacup. Now for the infusion part of this project, I want you to have an adult take that boiling hot water and pour it over each strainer or into each of the teacups that have their own little substance inside. Let this sit for about two to five minutes. This is called a steeping process. Now while things are steeping, I want you to be watching these substances very carefully. Take note of how things are changing in color and smells coming from each different cup. Now take a big sip of each of your cups and make sure you record all of your findings. How do things smell and taste? Mmm, so good. Now I put salt in it.